artículos en 128 libras y obviamente en mexicano nunca ha habido ninguno. We are back with another one And it's fight night, it's fight night Somebody going night, night Canelo, b -Vol. It is going down Dimitri b -Vol, light heavyweight champion It's going to be a big fight Big fight for the champion, man Canelo Alvarez, pound for pound The best fighter or top two best fighters in the world they're not giving b -Vol much of a chance in this fight. Canelo, last five fights, two quit, two knockouts, one decision. Pretty impressive. b -Vol undefeated. His last fights all came by unanimous decision. Now, this tells me one thing. Number one, b -Vol is 30 through 12 rounds. Two, he can put damage on his opponent throughout those 12 rounds and be effective. Now coming into this fight with Canelo Alvarez, stamina, endurance, pace is going to be keys for Dimitri Bivol. He's gonna to have to put the pressure on because Canelo, he doesn't tend to dwindle out in the later rounds of the fight, which is good, but at the same time, Bivol, he's gonna to have to put pressure on Canelo he can't allow Canelo to be the aggressor in this fight. Although Canelo is the challenger, theoretically Canelo is the A-side in this fight. He's the A-side. So b is going to have to be definitive in showing the judges, the fans, and the world that he can dominate Canelo Alvarez, and that's a tall order. Because Can Canelo is just special. He's special. It is really nothing that you could take away from Canelo Alvarez, man. These guys are both 31 years of age. Canelo has continued to improve, continue to get better, which is scary. Ever since he lost to Floyd, Canelo was coming into this fight 57, one and two with 39 knockouts. Pretty impressive record. And that one loss we know came to, well, excuse me, came from Floyd Mayweather. Not a bad L on your resume. In a sport of boxing, depending upon who you lose to, it ain't nothing wrong with having a loss. A lot of people try to pad their records with fights because they don't want that O to go. But see, the thing about it is, if you lose to somebody and that fighter is a pound for pound great or is a top level competitor, it ain't nothing wrong with losing to that type of competition. But if you lose to people who nobody never heard of or you lose to someone who pretty much everybody thought that you can beat, then that's what kind of tarnishes your record just a bit. You know what I mean? But in my opinion, just because you have an L on your record, it really does not mean that you're a terrible fighter. Prime example, if you look at Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao had losses on his record, but he is still a first tier ballot Hall of Famer. He is still pound for pound one of the best people and best fighters on this planet, although he is retired. If Manny Pacquiao chose to come back to the sport today, it will make headlines, it will make waves, because the first thing people want to know is, who is he coming back to fight? So it does not matter if you have losses on your record. Who did you lose to? b -Vol could possibly lose to Canelo Alvarez. That is not going to hurt his legacy, his career, what he's trying to do in the sport of boxing at all. If Canelo Alvarez loses to Dimitri Bivol in a historic upset because nobody thinks that Bivol can win, I'm the type of um, fight fan and analyst, I believe that anybody stepping into that ring has a chance. You look at Andy Ruiz, you look at George Cambosos, nobody thought these guys was going to win. But what did they do? They shocked the world and both became champions. Dimitri Bivo has an opportunity and a chance to do the very same thing against Canelo Alvarez. That will be historic. That will be super explosive. That will be legendary. But will that be the case? We shall find out. Canelo Alvarez, how he attacks the body, let alone going upstairs, we all seen what he did, what he does when he go upstairs. We seen what he did to Amerikan. 
we seen what he did to Kovalev. Although they said Kovalev, he came into the fight, he was empty, he was drained. Okay. Okay. Bivol, pound for pound, is a better fighter than Kovalev. Stronger than Kovalev. Although Sergey Kovalev is considered the crusher, crusher Kovalev. But he got crushed when he faced Canelo, Canelo Alvarez. That's why leading up to a fight, how you train, how your camp went, how you're conditioned, it says a lot going into the fight. Because if you come into a fight, fight drain, because you had weight issues, hydration issues, life issues, whatever. Come fight night, it doesn't matter because you have to go into the ring and perform. And if you fail to perform, you will get devastatingly crushed by your opponent especially if your opponent is at the level and tier of a Canelo Alvarez. Dimitri Bivol has a chance to shock the world. He has great range, has a great jab, has good footwork, and he looks good at the weigh-in. He's going to come into this fight. Both of these guys weighed in. Canelo weighed in at 174.4. 174 Demetri Bivol weighed in at 174.6. Damn near came in at the same weight. But they're not going to hydrate the same. Canelo is probably going to hydrate maybe to 180, a little over 180. Bivol will most likely come into this fight because this is his natural weight class. 190, possibly 190 plus. So he's going to be the bigger guy, the stronger guy. And as I said, <clears throat> his victories have come by unanimous decision. That means the fight is going 12 rounds. So his gas tank coming into this fight is not a factor. So that can cause problems for Canelo Alvarez because he's going to be in there with a fighter who can go 12 rounds, who does not necessarily have stamina issues, who does carry his power into the later rounds of the fight. Now, with Canelo being a challenger, and b -ball knowing that Canelo is, quote-unquote, the A-side. But I will say, b -ball has been ice cold. He's been ice cold. He said, you know what? I don't see what the hype is. Canelo Alvarez is a man, just like me. I look forward to the opportunity to go into the ring and display my skills. That's a true competitor. That's a true champion. That's a true fighter. They say, you know what, no fighter is afraid to face another fighter. That's bold. Because if fighters wasn't afraid to face certain fighters, a lot of super explosive, fantastic fights would be made and would have been made in the sport of boxing. The way the sport of boxing is geared up nowadays is business before boxing instead of boxing before business. Let your people take care of the business. If you are a financial asset, allow your team to secure a bag for you. As a fighter, you make sure that you step into that ring and you destroy whoever they put in front of you, especially if it is a top level competitor. That is your job. I got much love and I love Floyd Money Mayweather, good brother. Has a lot of ridicule, people criticize Floyd. Floyd, he does, does he, he do a lot for his fighters, man. He does a lot for the community. He does a lot for his people. You know what I mean? He takes care of his family. Although the situation with his daughter, I mean, that's complicated. You know what I mean? With the legal issues and things like that. But I'm sure Floyd is still there by her side throughout it all. And he's gearing up to come back and fight another exhibition. So although he is retired from the sport of boxing, he is still present in the sport of boxing, even if it is in that quote-unquote exhibition arena. Floyd is still getting the bag. He's still getting money. He's still drawing in fans. He's still being talked about. He is still relevant in the sport of boxing. A lot of people talk about, well, PBC this and PBC that. Whether you like it or not, Floyd Money, went, he, he's a part of the PBC. You know what I mean? He's paying a lot of these fighters or some of these fighters who will be talking about him. You know what I mean? Floyd, he has something to do with you getting that bag. You did what I'm saying? So you can't hate on Floyd that much because he is your boss. Now, back to B-Ball, Canelo, this fight is going down. It's going to be super explosive. It is going to be his story because if Canelo 
can do what he do, go in there and dismantle Dimitri Bivol, it'd be another fantastic performance from Canelo Alvarez. But the elephant in the room that I like to look at, what if, what if, just did a short about that. What if Dimitri Bivol shocks the world and defeats Canelo Alvarez? Go check it out. While you have it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You never know what can happen in the sport of boxing. Never count anybody out because even the best can have an off night or even the best can be dethroned given the right circumstances and that circumstance being a punch. Anybody can get caught. If you get caught clean, right time, right position, you can get hurt. And once them legs start to wiggle, that stomach start to giggle, and your opponent closes in like jaws smelling blood in the water, it's over. It is over. Dimitri Bigo already said, if I get him hurt, if I get him in trouble, yes, I will try to finish him. Dimitri Bigo has excellent range, and I believe that he can get it done. Can he win? Of course, I will give him that chance. I'll give him that respect for of giving him that chance to win. Canelo Alvarez, pound for pound, we know what Canelo does. We know what he brings to the table. Fantastic competitor, fantastic champion, has already broken records, history, jaws, faces, ribs, destroyed people, broken careers. We know what Canelo brings to the table. Can he beat Dimitri Bivol? Of course he can, but will he? We shall find out. Talk Nick is your boy, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the truth. Do your best to stay humble. Stay motivated. Protect yourself at all times. Guard up. Mask up. Why? Because it's the war going on outside. And ain't nobody safe from it. Talk Nick Stand up is your boy. Peace. Subscribe to the realest. 12 rounds is going down with our body balls. We channel stay with a bodyguard.